Hey everybody, it's 2015 and let's grow some hydroponic strawberries. Well, you're probably wondering why you're looking at this uh, this old door. <laughs> this, <laughs> this was actually an old door off uh, an old house, my property that I tore down and actually right where we're sitting, sitting right there is where the old house used to be. So I'm actually decided to build a uh, you see, you've seen videos on YouTube about them, but um, they're grow, called grow boxes. Um, they use them in the cracky method. So, so this year I'm gonna be growing strawberries with this thing. I'm just getting my net cups lined up, and mostly, mostly going to use two inches this year. I'm gonna have a few three inch net cups in here also. So, here's the strawberries I grew last summer. My little hydroponic uh, tote, and right around probably the, the end of the fall end up overwintering these in just a little raised bed so I just pulled the strawberries out of the net, cut, net pot there's a video from this last fall out of the net pot into the little raised bed and overwintered so I'm, I feel pretty confident that this bigger tote this grow box is going to work out really well well this year I'm trying something new I'm actually digging some plants out of a one of my raised beds. So right here, this is one of my June bearing um, raised beds. And last year they're plugged, so this year there'll be a two-year-old strawberry plant. So they should be able to rock and roll once we get them into the system. So, and of course, my kids and there's my granddaughter um, digging the dirt and enjoying a beautiful winter day here on the. Earth. All right. Well, let me back up for a second. So basically, what I am using um, the door for was is the bottom of my grow grow box so uh, I'm bouncing all over the place and I actually end up even confused myself to what the hell I was doing here but so right so we got some plastic in here and I actually end up trying to do some type of drain and of course I'm like the world's worst plumber um, and <laughs> end up leaking so I was like <laughs> but, so I ended up pulling all that stuff out and just throwing an extra layer of plastic so now it's just a normal grow box no drain so um, I just have to siphon the water when I do my water changes well as you can see the kids kids lost interest in uh, but not Garfield so uh, anytime I'm out in the garden he's usually uh, supervising or just checking out what I'm doing so and there in the background you see uh, my junk pile <laughs> so uh, oh boy what, what can I say so after screwing with the plumbing and finally just giving up, you know, like I said earlier, I ripped all the, uh, the pipes and the drains. I thought I was gonna have this really cool setup, and uh, well, I'll talk about the, talk about that stuff later. So right now um, I have two by sixes around the outside edges. So and I calculated I should be right around 16 gallons, roughly or so, probably 16 to 16 and a half gallons of uh, of water. Got a couple clips here of me. Uh, trying to get the roots clean for um these are the Juneberry strawberries I end up digging up but usually I don't like to dig up strawberries I have my raised beds and put them into a hydroponic setup for one reason or for the main reason is trying to get all the dirt and crap out of there um you want the roots as clean as you can once you get them into your system um, if you got dirt or gunk or whatever it's just a uh, it's really going to increase your chances of getting uh, some type of a, you're basically what I'm trying to say is you don't end up having some type of root rot, root rot issues if I can say that right <laughs> um, so cleaning the roots the better well there's Garfield once again checking out to see what I'm doing uh, I'm actually surprised this fat ass can actually even jump up that high to, to see what's in the bucket <laughs> now it's the beginning of March and I'm probably a month and a month and a half early of starting these, these plants but a couple of reasons why I wanted to start them off early was one I wanted to try these uh, June bearing strawberries on my raised beds and I wanted to start them earlier and that way if there's gunk or dirt whatever whatever I got on the roots itself they'll have time to get themselves cleaned out and I'll be able to clean out the reservoir before I got my other strawberry plants going so and also I wanted to see how these strawberry plants would do with the um, with the cold water 
All right, let me take a minute to explain uh, what I have going on here. So basically, all this is a box is basically a deep water culture. I'm not running any air pumps. This is just a non-circulating, no power hydroponic setup. Some people call it the cracky method, and basically, it's almost exactly like the cracky method, except with the cracky method, you put your all your water and nutrients in together, and you mix it and just you put it's a one shot one time deal and you don't change out the water and then basically just let it right out and I tried doing that end up with a bunch of issues and but I mean we can talk about that later all right well like I said I'm not using any air pumps in this uh, in this setup here so if you notice there between the raft and the water I have about two and a half inches of air gap so my net cups are resting in right around about a quarter of the net cups or resting into the water if that makes sense all right seascape strawberries are the ones i generally prefer to use for my hydroponic setups um, it just seems like i've had um, a lot better luck with these type of strawberries and another reason they're cheap um, the six pack right here costs about three dollars and they're pretty common variety you can pretty much pick them up at any box store or nursery um, Right now, they're the, they're the number one ever bearing strawberry that uh, commercial growers uh, use. And they're a pretty impressive plant, and they seem to um, seem to be able to handle a lot of different type of environments. So uh, the more I look into them, it seems like more and more they're being grown across different parts of the United States. All right, this here is called a plug. This is what came out in the six packs. So basically, is what is last year's runners. So it hasn't um, it hasn't produced anything yet. It's not even a year old. So it's basically, kind of like a baby type of strawberry plant. Now, if you're growing these in soil, as soon as they start popping up some berries, you want to pinch them off. But with hydroponics, you don't pinch off these berries. You uh, you harvest them, and that's when the one of the things that I really like about this hydroponics, especially growing strawberries in, is being able to get um, get fruit a lot quicker than you would with soil. Now if you take a look right here, this is a two inch net cup and what I did is I, I took a pair of scissors and I cut out the circle part there in the center and I try to get the roots down as low as I can. So right here these are the original roots and basically what's going to happen is these old roots are pretty much going to die off and we're going to end up growing some new roots. So. I'll show videos and clips throughout the next uh, few weeks of how this actually works. All right, you see right here, these are the last year's hydroponic strawberries I pulled out of that little raised bed, that overwintered in raised bed. So I got the roots cleaned out, and uh, we're going to see how how they do. I got I'm putting three into this. Um, grow bed and it seems like every year I get a question what do you do to your plants after you're done growing well there you go I usually put them into a, uh, a raised bed oops 10 second rule alright yeah, they're just strawberries you're not going to eat the plants but um I've never tried to regrow them after uh, and if you notice there you see those white roots those are new roots and uh it's the very beginning of spring you can see how this plant that was growing in the soil as you can see the old roots die and we end up growing new roots every year so pretty amazing pretty strange plant well I generally don't regrow strawberries in a hydroponic setup um, and this is my theory my theory only is that once you run it through one cycle or one year of hydroponics I think it's going to take out quite a bit of its uh, production capability. So basically if you grow in soil, you're looking at strawberries, probably second and third year can be your production years. Then you pull the plants and you start over with plugs and the cycle continues. So my theory is if one season of growing hydroponics, I'm thinking it might be maybe two or three years wear and tear. So I'll be growing these three plants there in the in the back and we'll be comparing them and see how they do with the with the plugs. So I'm kind of interested to see if my theory is uh, not even close or maybe. Well, check out that view. Isn't that awesome? But um, basically, we have 30 plants and we squeezed them into a 36 by 80 inch space. So I thought that was pretty, 
pretty cool. And my spacing was probably a little tight. It's probably going to end up biting me in the butt. But we'll end up talking about that stuff later. You know, like, like I said earlier, I'm probably about a month, month and a half early of getting these going. But I just kind of wanted to see how they would do in the water. And to recap, I have three three different things going on. I got the June bearing that I grew, pulled out of my raised beds. I got the Seascape plugs. Seascape and the Seascape from the previous year. I threw a couple of those in there. So, Well, I'm all, all over the place. My mind's racing. <laughs> racing all over. But, um, okay, I'm going to talk about nutrients. Right now, I'm running just water. And I probably will run nothing but water for probably at least a good month. And the reason being is that these plants actually store a lot of energy. So it's not a race. Um, don't go in there and just start dumping water in t or dumping nutrients into your water. They don't really need them yet. Now right now the plants are focusing on root growth like we talked about earlier. You know the new roots and then once the new roots start coming in and then we'll start getting some good uh, upper growth, some green greenery stuff that we like to see. In my opinion this is the biggest advantage between hydroponics and soil is these roots be able to grow so fast and be able to get a production I mean you're basically getting a production a year earlier than you would if you, if you grew in soil and plus you know there's a lot of plants here in just a really small space alright my friends I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up but I do have a, several videos I plan on doing and I'm going to break them up to smaller videos and we'll be going over over the nutrient strengths, type of nutrients, water temperatures type of systems and uh, basically a little bit of everything but I'll be breaking them down to I try to keep my videos right around three to five minutes so all right my friends thanks for taking the time to watch comment and I really uh, really looking forward to watching all your guys videos this year so uh, all right guys take care